ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to X Defiant. A new update went live here today, so what we're going to be doing is a short little news update video because honestly, this update is kind of weird, right? Most of it is just quality of life stuff, which is fantastic. They're making the game a bit smoother, a bit more polished, but some balancing changes went through as well, which really kind of have me scratching my head. So let's just go ahead and talk about that first. The Phantoms, which are arguably one of the most popular factions in the game, received some pretty hefty nerfs with today's update. They changed up fundamentally essentially how they work, mostly with their passive. So their passive went from giving you 20 bonus health to only giving you 15 bonus health. And then to compensate for that, they they reduce the movement speed of the phantoms by 5% and on top of that they now take one second longer than any other faction in the game to start the regeneration of their health. So if they have less health, it takes longer to regenerate their health and they move 5% slower. That seems pretty damn bad. Well, what I wanted to do here today was jump in and kind of see how the phantoms felt and honestly I didn't notice too much of a difference. I think that when I read this stuff on paper because they gave the patch notes out yesterday that they were nerfing the phantoms into the ground but in practice it didn't seem to be that much different different, but there are some weird quirks with this update that I don't know, man. I'm just gonna have to go ahead and show you, and you guys know how bad I am when it comes to testing this kind of stuff, but when it comes to the movement speed being reduced by 5%, I don't think they're talking about overall movement speed, which is really weird. I ran a bunch of tests here, just running from one end of the firing range to the other, and I could not tell a difference between the Phantom Sprint Speed and the Sprint Speed of other factions. Exclusive Ace, way back when, said that movement speed in this game is tied to your walking and your sprint speed. It's not tied to your ADS movement speed or anything like that. The stat movement speed only means sprinting and then walking around essentially. While the movement speed nerf, the way they described it for the Phantoms, does not seem to affect sprinting unless I royally messed something up here, but it does affect walking, which is weird. Like why? So they walk slower. Their sprinting is fine, but they walk slower. And here I decided to just do like an ADS walk, like moving forward here. And it doesn't seem like there's any difference there between them and the other factions as well. So it's like you nerf how fast they can walk, but you didn't change their strafing or their sprinting. That's okay. I mean, it's good, I guess. I mean, the Phantoms aren't as nerfed as I thought they were. It's just weirdly worded in the patch notes there. Another thing I want to test out, of course, would be that health regeneration delay. Having to wait one extra second before your health starts to regenerate kind of sounds like a pretty hefty nerf. And what I wanted to go ahead and do is test that out here by standing in the same corner, throwing a Semtex at the same part of the wall, taking the same amount of damage, and then just measuring essentially how long it takes for me to go back to full health. And as you guys can see, before today's update, we would already be back at 120 health by the time we're only at 85 health after the update. And that's a difference of 35 health, which in essence is the difference between life and death in a lot of scenarios, as a lot of guns in this game don't do 35 damage per bullet. So having one extra bullet's worth of health could potentially be huge. But again, in practice, as I'm playing the game, it really didn't seem to matter all that much. It's just a bit weird how they're nerfing the passive of the Phantoms, whereas all the other factions in the game, they don't really seem to have a negative to any of their passives. You think of the Echelon, for example, they stay off the minimap and there's no downside to that. They're just always off the minimap. You think of the Dead Sec, they constantly regenerate their lethal devices and there's no downside to that. You may think of the Cleaners, right, with their fire bullets and they potentially have a downside by reducing their range by 10%, but in practice, that really doesn't affect anything. Here you guys can see, if I pull out an AK-47, for example, I do the exact same amount of damage at these various ranges, whether I'm playing as the Cleaners or not. It really doesn't matter with assault rifles or submachine guns. It does affect niche weapons like shotguns and marksman rifles. But in general, the cleaner's downside is not really much of a downside. You think of the GSK, they take less headshot damage. There's no downside to that, you know? So it just, it feels weird that they're adding downsides to the passives, especially for a faction like the Phantoms. But regardless, the nerf does not seem to be that bad overall. It kind of puts them more in line with other factions in the game. And I suppose time will tell how it's all going to play out. Now, in regards to the the rest of the update, it's mostly just quality of life stuff. The kill trading, which has been rampant ever since season two came out, that's been cut in half, which in my own limited testing, my own limited playing today, it does seem like that is true. I was still trading a couple of kills here or there, but not nearly at the frequency that I was back before today's update. So that's definitely a good change. They also removed 15 seconds of the after match loading screen, which is huge. I hate how much time it takes in between matches. And so getting us back into the action is always a good thing. The GSK ultimate, when you pull out their big ride shield and you have the ability to flash the other team well that flash will now go through things like the mag barrier and riot shields so that's a bit of a buff for them but also it just kind of makes sense given the fact that it's a light and a mag barrier is not supposed to protect your eyes it's supposed to protect you from bullets you know what i mean so that kind of made sense they readjusted the reflex sight and the holographic sight on all 
weapons to make them better because basically the crosshairs weren't positioned properly and now where your red dot is that is where your bullet is going to go it was more of a visual bug before but now weapons feel a lot more accurate when you're using a reflex sight or a holographic sight there's also a bunch of various little bug fixes here or there but there's also a bunch of issues that still persist through this update for example the big pyroclastic camo which is like the dark matter equivalent of this game well apparently that does not work on guns that came out post launch so if you're getting like the new l86 or using the new spaz 12 or the pp19 and you get to weapon level 500 after having got all the other guns up to weapon level 400 your camo doesn't unlock which is kind of crazy and then sound is still bored that is one of the biggest things for me i was actually talking to blame truth about this yesterday and it's one of those things that really makes the game hit or miss for a lot of fans like some people just aren't enjoying the game right now because of how borked the audio is essentially everybody has dead silence built in you don't really hear enemy weapons that much anymore you don't really hear enemy footsteps it's just it's like you're wearing earmuffs when you play this game now you don't really hear anything which audio obviously is a big part of a fast-paced arena shooter like this though thankfully mark rubin has confirmed that these audio levels are not intentional but the fix was not ready for this patch but rather it's going to be fixed in patch 2.3 which will be the next update who knows exactly when that is going to be i have a feeling and mark just basically tried to debunk it but still i have a feeling that the audio changes are a result of bomb being in the game search and destroy essentially right maybe they wanted footsteps to be slightly quieter by default and maybe they went too far with it and maybe that's why it feels so bad when you're playing game modes like tdm or dom or occupy or even zone control you know it just kind of feels bad not having any real good audio but when you're playing search it feels pretty good because you feel like you can actually move without people just sitting around the corner waiting for your footsteps as of right now we don't have an eta on when patch 2.3 is going to be so as always i will keep you guys posted as we learn more as more updates come out and as more information gets published but for right now that's pretty much it for this video here today just kind of talking about the quality of life update that x defiant got i am interested to hear your thoughts and feedback on the phantom changes i feel like i'm kind of a fanboy of the phantoms almost like i'm defending them almost a little bit too much they are my most played faction but truth be told since season one came out and then subsequently now season two i have not really played as them a lot i mostly was playing a ton as the gsk and now with the highwaymen the phantoms i've always believed are a very good faction especially for objective game modes but i never thought they were game breakingly powerful or anything like that nothing quite like the intel suits fam that we had back when the game first came out so it will be interesting to see how this update is going to shake up the meta of x defiant but of course let me know your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments thank you all so much for listening and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day.